Maharashtra Minister Nawab Malik has been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate in a money laundering case. The probe agency claims to have established a money trail linking Nawab Malik to the underworld Don Dawood Ibrahim. ED also says there are details of Binami investments of Maharashtra Minister in a real estate project. <laughs> PC also added that remand of Nawab Malik will be sought on these grounds. Meanwhile, Nawab Malik has been taken to the JJ Hospital for a medical checkup. Minister Ma Nawab Malik purchased a property in Mumbai's Kudla area from Sardar Khan, who is a close aide of Don Dawood Ibrahim. The property that was worth cross was bought by Malik for 30 lakh. An aide of Asina Parker also helped Malik with the deal. Sardar Khan, who sold the property to Nawab Malik, is convicted in the 1993 serial blast case and is lodged in a prison in Aurangabad. The NCP has tried political vendetta. MP Supriya Sule slammed the centre, saying that the government is using the central agencies against BJP's political rivals in a suppressive manner. राजनीति इतनी नीचे स्तर पर जा सकती है ये बड़ी ही निराशजनक और गलत बात है मैं तो कहूंगा ये नगर पालिका महानगर पालिका के स्तर पर जो होता है उससे भी बदतर होकर उससे भी नीचे स्तर पर राजनीति का स्तर गिर गया है पूरे देश में या महाराष्ट्र में जो भी आज चीजें दिखाई दे रही है वो उचित नहीं है केंद्रीय एजेंसीज इसके द्वारा जो भी हो रहा है निश्चित तौर पर ठीक बात नहीं ED is nothing but an extended department of Bharatiya Janata Party political party that is in the center and is using ED officials to run its political agenda against its opponents. The way a sitting minister in a federal structure of a government, state government has been arrested without intimidating the uh, speaker, without seeking permission from the speaker, Doing this is absolutely unconstitutional and undemocratic and I think it le leads to larger questions as to how much ED officials will crawl at the behest of their political masters. I think we need to understand that this is about an illegality of key acres being bought and obviously the political ramifications can be viewed as a journalist but the legal aspects have to be looked into by the enforcement directorate. This is not a witch hunt and this is only unrevealing the truth if there are bomb blast convicts who have been part of this entire uh, 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 misuse of power of a minister that being, then I think it is time for us to all speak in unanimity and speak up for the truth. The big story for us is our battery of reporters. Devesh is getting us more on that. Munish Pandey also con continues to be with us, tracking the ED very closely. And also Kamlesh Sutar getting us every single detail of that big story. First to you, Kamlesh, what really is going to be the strategy of the NCP? Given that Nawab Malik really is no political lightweight, he's a senior member of the NCP, associated with the party for years together, close to Sharad Pawar, who himself has spoken about political vendetta against Malik in the past. Uh, well, indeed, uh, Nawab Malik, mm -hmm. uh, in the last, uh, in the past few months, it, we, we, uh, we've seen uh, he has been vocal against the central agencies, be the NCB uh, or the CBI or uh, ED for that matter. And today, uh, the uh, ED uh, arresting him in a uh, money laundering case uh, certainly uh, has all the three uh, constituents of the Mahavikasa Gadi, the Congress, the Shiv Sena and the NCP speaking in unison, calling uh, the action as a political vendetta. In fact, uh, NCP Supremo, uh, Sharad Paur himself in the morning said that the action was expected. Even Supriya Sule's daughter and MPC said that she is going to raise the matter uh, in the uh, parliament as well. But now, uh, all three parties, what we are learning from our sources, they are going to plan a united strategy. This is uh, not a normal case. See, uh, there have been several leaders uh, from the Mahavika Sagadi on the radar of the uh, ED or uh, central agencies. But uh, this time, a sitting minister uh, who is in charge of an important department has been arrested. Uh, he was, uh, uh, you know, uh, the ED went to his house early in the morning uh, and uh, uh, took him to the ED office for... Uh, 
for, for inquiry and then uh, after that after after almost 8 hours of investigation he was arrested nawab malik uh, uh, while he came back we saw uh, pictures of nawab malik uh, uh, you know with his fist in the air saying that i will fight and i am not going to uh, bow down to anyone uh, this certainly shows the aggression of the parties we might expect uh, all three parties coming together uh, even uh, for a meeting uh, probably but there is no official confirmation on that uh, but uh, the voice that will be coming in from all three parties be it uh, uh, udhav thakre chief sena the ncp or the congress uh, they have uh, the reaction they are coming in they are calling it a political vendetta and misuse uh, of government machinery uh, and uh, government institutions by the center we have also heard already from the chief sena and the congress saying that this is vendetta against nawab malik uh, be with us kamlesh will just come back to you for more uh, munisha Okay, we have in fact a reaction coming in from the BJP. Shahzad Punawala is reacting. Let's listen. So, इस प्रकार के मंत्री महाविकास अगाड़ी में होंगे और उद्धव ठाकरे उनका इस्तीफा भी नहीं लेंगे। Okay, should uh, should Nawab Malik resign is the question that uh, the BJP is asking. Is uh, is what Shahzad Punawala just said in that? a short uh, sound bite but the bjp of course has said that this is law taking its own course the allegations are extremely grave in nature and to talk about what these allegations are i have with me munish pande who tracks the ed for us munish take us through the details of the kind of allegations against malik and that the money trail has been established is there a water tay tight case just yet Munish <coughs> We'll just go back to Munish in a bit from now Divyesh also continues to be with us Divyesh we've seen NCP workers also in fact protests right outside the ED office do get us up to speed with the situation vis-a-vis -vis the law and order are uh, right there Well, the protest right now is going on near the ED office, near the office of NCP as well, as the ED office is located very close to the NCP central office in Mumbai. Uh, NCP workers had gathered here in huge numbers, but police has somehow managed to maintain the law and order situation. They have barricaded the road. Let me show you some visuals of the NCP workers protesting right now. They have. they are still gathered near the ed office and uh, they are protesting over here you can see the ncp flag being waved by the protesting ncp workers over here there's a barricade that has been put up by police officials and this complete road has been shut for movement citing law and order issues after the arrest of nawab malik nawab malik remember was picked up by ed officials who reached his residence at 5 am in the morning he was uh, his house was searched after which he was questioned primarily at his residence he was given a notice and asked to accompany ed officials after which he was brought to the ed office at around 7:45 am reaching here around 8 am his questioning began his statement was being recorded by post noon we came to know from our sources that nawab malik wasn't cooperating in the probe he wasn't cooperating with the questioning that was going on and following which ed officials placed him under arrest now he has been taken to the pml court where he'll be produced and ed officials will be seeking his custody from the pml court it will uh, it will depend on the arguments from both the sides or uh, and the court will further decide on how many days of custody be granted to uh, ed for nawab malik and po post that if at all the custody is granted nawab malik will remain in ed custody uh, and he'll be interrogated again his statement will again be recorded by ed officials remember the case pertains to the uh, primary case pertains to daud ibrahim and his gang which has created a specific group to create uh, to carry out terror activities in mumbai and other areas across the country they are uh, they are trying to disrupt law and order situation in the country they are in touch with uh, uh, pakistani intelligence agencies and terrorist outfits operating from pakistan following which a uh, fir was registered by the nia and 
Following that, an ECIR was registered by the Enforcement Directorate. Enforcement Directorate already had an ECIR against Iqbal Kraskar, brother of Daud Ibrahim, Anis Ibrahim, Chota Shakil, uh, registered in 2018 following an extortion case against Iqbal Kraskar. These two cases were then merged. And Divesh, this we'll talk to began. you about that a in a bit from now. Because what are these allegations? What are the serious charges that Malik is facing? We want to know much more about that. Uh, for a bit, we have a reaction also from Chandrakant Patil, uh, the state president of the BJP in Maharashtra, listening to what he had to say. Today, Maharashtra ke cabinet minister Nabab Malik ko finally ED ne girabdar kiya. Ab is girabdari ke baad ulone istifa dena chahiye. Yeh Maharashtra ki parampara hai. Is prakar ka kanun bhi hai ki jab koi minister par arup lagte hai. और आरोप इतने हैं कि उसमें गिरफ्तारी होती है अब ये विषय शुरू हो जाएगा कि नहीं वो अभी तो गिरफ्तारी हुई है अब और आगे चलना है वगैरह वगैरह ये नैतिकता है और ये महाराष्ट्र की परंपरा है दो चीफ मिनिस्टर इस प्रकार से गए तो नवाब मलिक के ईडी गिरफ्तारी के बाद उन्होंने इस्तीफा देना चाहिए Shivsena Zarbin Savant is also now joining us <coughs> thank you for your time Mr Savant your reaction to what has really happened today just now, because I am out of station, but anyhow, the whatever is happening, don't forget that Nawab Malik was a is a cabinet minister. Secondly, the the way he was attacking the government on the central government and the uh, ED, and he is that therefore he has been made a target of the fit, and today he has been arrested, which is uh, I don't think whether it is lawfully correct or not. Let the law will decide it. But the, the issue which I just heard, that something which has, he has purchased a land long, long ago and that is related to, okay, okay, by, one, one, by law, it may not be correct or wrong, whatever is the let the Lord take his own course of action. But the timing is that they want to disturb the government, destabilize the Maharashtra government, and the cabinet minister is being arrested like this. Okay. Just think of it. And because he has targeted ED and he has proved it, for the very reason the officer concern was transferred, because he has proved it, what they are doing it, what the ED is doing. And every now and then, every day you find the BJP leaders go on giving breaking news. Tomorrow he will be arrested. They have, as if they are in hand in glow with the ED, the information they only give or ED gives them to them, to them, and they go on saying that. The target is what? To destabilize the government. It's not okay. to... Money. You know, <laughs> Mr. Savant, uh, two things I want to ask you. First, you said he's a sitting minister. Yes, we understand. But at the end of the day, uh, these are serious allegations and the truth must come out. Law must take its own course. The ED under the Prevention of uh, uh, Corruption Act uh, doesn't require permission to arrest him. He, of course, will be, uh, uh, you know, following the procedure. The ED is following the procedure. They've taken him for a medical checkup. And they are going to be producing him in court, essentially. He also, Malika also has his legal options open. Uh, so there isn't any wrongdoing on that front, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll continue to be on this story. Meanwhile, we have some news just coming in. Let's go straight to that. NCP Chief Sharad Pawar has called for an emergency meeting. Sharad Pawar is to meet Uddhav in the evening. Uddhav Thakre, Maharashtra Chief Minister, to meet NCP Supremo Sharad Pawar in the evening is what we know. Kamlesh was just telling us about it and Kamlesh Sotar is getting us more on that. It's going to be a strategy with all of these three parties coming together and lending support to Nawab Malik. We've already heard from the Shiv Sena Again, echoing what the NCP and the Congress have been saying, that this is political vendetta. Kamlesh. Uh, well, indeed, uh, uh, well, indeed uh, the Chief Minister uh, and uh, Sharad Pawar are going to meet uh, in the evening. That is what we are uh, learning.
from highly placed sources in the government. Now, Sharad Pawar uh, in the morning itself, uh, just I, as I was speaking, as we were speaking earlier, uh, Sharad Pawar in the morning had clearly said that this action was expected. But now, uh, this is not just uh, see. Uh, we have seen several action against uh, uh, MBA leaders uh, in last two years, uh, be it by the CBI, be it by the ED or uh, uh, other uh, central agencies. And MBA has been crying foul since last two years. In fact, Uddhav Thakre in his annual uh, the party Dashara rally had even gone on to attack the central agencies. But now, uh, uh, the NBA considers this incident the arrest of Nawab Malik as serious because Nawab Malik is a sitting minister. Remember, another minister, but a former minister, Anil Deshmukh, the former home minister, was arrested. But he was arrested after he had resigned uh, from his post and then he was arrested. Uh, perhaps he had anticipated that he will be uh, arrested later. But this time, Nawab Malik was a sitting minister. Supriya Sule in the morning saying that Nawab Malik wasn't given any uh, notice uh, beforehand, wasn't informed beforehand. At, uh, early in the morning, at around 4.30, the ED goes to his place, picks him up and takes him to the ED office for interrogation. And after interrogation, he's arrested. Uh, this, uh, they feel, is very serious. Uh, this, uh, somewhere they're even raising questions on the rights of, uh, uh, you know, of states in the federal structure. So Uddhav Thakre was also raised that issue of rights uh, about of uh, uh, states in the federal structure. Uh, uh, Uddhav Thakre and Pawar are likely to discuss on that, and we might see uh, both the leaders speaking to the press uh, together. But that has uh, we'll have to wait for that. What exactly is going to be the agenda of the meeting? Of course, uh, uh, Nawab Malik issue uh, will be uh, the center of the discussion. But the next course of action uh, will be decided. Uh, by both the uh, by both the leaders when they meet but the charges are grave and also has been booked under the prevention of corruption at kamlesh uh, the ed doesn't require the permission of the state government uh, to arrest uh, um, a sitting minister then isn't it Uh, well, it's not about uh, the ED coming into action and arresting uh, someone. This is about, uh, uh, you know, only uh, the MVA leaders or Congress or Shiv Sena or uh, 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 NCP leaders being on the ED radar for last so many years. Now, see, uh, there is a big list of uh, leaders from Shiv Sena, uh, be it uh, Pratap Sarnaik who uh, was uh, uh, interrogated by the ED, uh, then uh, Anil Parab, another minister of Shiv Sena got ED notice. Now we have Nawab Malik arrested. Then from NCP, we had Ajit Pawar under the radar of IT. Uh, his uh, relatives were also questioned uh, by the uh, income tax department and also continues to be an ED radar uh, for the sugar mills. Uh, then we had, uh, we, as I mentioned earlier, Anil Deshmukh, former Home Minister from the NCP, is already under ED arrest. And there are other leaders uh, from the MBA. Sanjay Raut recently, his brother was arrested. His wife was interrogated by the ED. Eknath Khadse, who shifted from the BJP to the NCP, is also on the radar. His son-in-law is under arrest. So the question that MBA leaders are asking is, why only MBA leaders are on the uh, radar of the central agencies? And that is what perhaps is going to be the agenda. Uh, it might just, you know, blow, on, uh, blow up to be uh, something like uh, uh, West Bengal, where the Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee took to the streets against uh, uh, what she called as atrocities by the central agencies, and she uh, fought it on the streets. We uh, might see a joint statement coming in by the Mahavika Sagadi, especially by Sharad Pawar and Uddhav Thakre, who will be uh, speaking uh, about uh, uh, the Nawab Malik issue, particularly uh, you know case in point here. And uh, again, we'll have them speaking. Just recently, Sanjay Raut, Shiv Sena leader, spoke about it, about how ED is working uh, on uh, the the instructions of a central government. In fact, yesterday when Nirmala Sita Raman was in Mumbai and I was at the press conference, I had asked her a similar question that there are uh, growing allegations against the enforcement directorate that it is being used for political vendetta and she said that the ED doesn't work like that. There has to be a predicate offense in any case and even if somebody wants, uh, they cannot stop the investigation or start investigations against anybody. So there are uh, uh, sides, both sides to the story but this time uh, there is a, a political uh, backdrop to it. Nawab Malik was vocal. He was vocal against the central government and that is what will be be used uh, by the MBA to target the center, calling it a political vendetta. Be with us. In fact, uh, Kamlesh, I'm just going to go across to my colleague uh, Munish Pandey, tracks the agencies for us. Uh, Munish, uh, there is something that you'd like to share with us. What are your sources really within the ED talking about, about the next, uh, about their strategy uh, from here on, given that they would be looking to build uh, a watertight case against Nawab Malik? Now, Sneha, we have accessed the um, arrest order of Mr. Nawab Malik, and for the benefit of viewers, I would like to read that order. This is from the Directorate of Enforcement, Mumbai Office, case uh, number 10 of uh, this year, Mumbai Zone 1. Now, as far as this order is concerned, the investigative officer is always assistant director in the Enforcement Directorate, and he has written in this order, whereas I, Neeraj Kumar, Assistant Director of Enforcement Zone 1 Mumbai have reason to believe that Mr. Mohammad Nawab Malik, uh, resident of Kurla, Mumbai, has been found to be guilty of an offence punishable under the provisions of Money Laundering Act. So this becomes very important, Sneha, that what he has said that he has found to be guilty of 
offense punishable under provisions of money laundering act further he stated that now therefore in exercise of the powers conferred to me under subsection 1 of section 19 of prevention of money laundering act i hereby arrest the said mr mohammad nawab mohammad islam malik this is the arrest order it is uh, dated today and based on this arrest order you know nawab malik will be produced before the court so that they can ask for custodial interrogation and what we are hearing from our sources within the enforcement directorate that the remand copy is going to be certainly very important for the enforcement directorate because they are also expecting that uh, mr nawab malik will be represented by a powerful lawyer they will try to find out all the loopholes which the ed may possibly leave in the rma in the arrest memo or the remand copy and that is why ed is saying that they will be mentioning about the financial trail they will be mentioning about mr nawab malik's alleged connection with the people connected to underworld and also about the kurla property which nawab malik bought from uh, an accused um, um, a blast accused so these are the things which ed has strategized at this point of time but certainly this will have a huge political implications not only in maharashtra but also in the state government uh, uh, between the three uh, coalition parties Yes, be with us, Munish. I'm just going to go across to Divyesh as well. Divyesh, this also comes at a time when there are allegations from the Aghadi, essentially, that the BJP is looking at breaking up the Aghadi. This is what they have said just a few days ago. They want to bring the government down, essentially, in the state of Maharashtra. Something that was echoed by Shiv Sena's Arvind Savan just a few minutes ago when he spoke to us. Well, Shiv Sena, Sanjay Raut, who uh, is also under scanner of uh, Enforcement Directorate, had written a letter to the chairman of Rajya Sabha, uh, also the vice president of India, Mr. Venkaiah Naidu, stating that some leaders from the NDA had contacted him, from BJP had contacted him and sought his help to bring down the Mahavikas Aghadi government in Maharashtra. When he refused to do so, the ED proceedings against his uh, friends and his relatives started, his relatives were initiated by the agency. Following that, the case was registered against uh, Guru Ashish Construction's Praveen Raut, who Sanjay Raut has said that is his friend Sujit Patkar, one of the close aides of Sanjay Raut. His name came up and Sujit Patkar is also a partner with uh, Sanjay Raut's daughters in a firm which is into wine trading, which had been brought to light by Kirit Sumaya, BJP leader. So, uh, this was clearly said, indicated by Sanjay Raut from Shiv Sena and many other leaders from the Mahavikas Agadi have been alleging that the NDA government or the BJP is trying to uh, bring down the Maharashtra state government, Mahavikas Agadi, so that they could come back in power in the state. Yes. Neha. Kamlesh, this is not the first time that Nawab Malik is facing corruption charges and these are extremely serious in nature. But in the past, in his political career as well, uh, you know, for example, social activist Anna Hazare, who himself is from Maharashtra, uh, during the movement, during the Ahmadmi movement, had spoken about certain political leaders and also about Nawab Malik's role uh, and also the fact that he was involved in certain corrupt activities in the past as well. Uh, well, indeed, well, uh, that dates back to, uh, you know, uh, at least 15, 20 years ago when Nawab Malik was a minister in uh, the Vilasra Deshmukh uh, government uh, earlier. Uh, and then uh, Anna Hazare, uh, social activist, had raised the issue. Uh, there was a Savan Commission that was, uh, uh, the, uh, it was the, uh, Nawab Malik was named uh, by the Savan Commission uh, uh, for, uh, for allegedly signing a housing uh, project in uh, Mumbai. And then uh, later he was dissolved of the charges, but then he had to uh, resign. Uh, this time he is arrested under the prevention of money laundering act uh, that is being proved by uh, the ED that is what we are learning uh, 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 primarily from ED uh, and our reporters who are reporting on the field. Uh, PMLA charges what uh, Munish also read out uh, the arrest letter that uh, uh, he is being primarily found guilty of uh, uh, under the prevention of money laundering act and now that uh, will be uh, subject to uh, further legal procedures but uh, at this point in time uh, Nawab Malik is also known uh, not just in Maharashtra but also across the country just recently during the uh, Antilia uh, 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 during the Cordelia 
Cruz case. Nawab Malik was vocal after his son-in-law was arrested. He took, uh, uh, he had uh, taken routine press conference against Samir Wankhede and the NCB, especially against Samir Wankhede. Uh, he alleged that Samir Wankhede has, uh, you know, used uh, uh, certain uh, fake uh, uh, witnesses uh, for for uh, uh, roping in people in the case uh, for uh, fixing up people, and that is we saw how it went on, and uh, uh, which was uh, closely followed by uh, routine transfer. What uh, the NCB has called of Samir Wankhede. So the duel between Samir Wankhede and Nawab Malik is well known, but at this uh, point, uh, that also is being uh, used as one of the reasons uh, by MBA leaders. They say that since Nawab Malik was vocal against central agency, this is uh, vendetta uh, politics against him. But uh, we'll have to wait and watch how political activity develops in the state, how the MBA reacts to that, how especially Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre uh, reacts uh, to uh, the arrest of his uh, minister. Now, uh, another important point is also that since a sitting minister is arrested, uh, whether uh, 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 Uddhav Thakre will immediately take his uh, resignations because since he is uh, under uh, the arrest of ED now, uh, that also is another question that looms out. So that would also be discussed uh, uh, by uh, the state government and the Mahavika Sagari together. All right, Kamlesh, thank you for getting us all of those details. I'm thanking my other colleagues, Munish Pandey and Divesh as well, uh, for their inputs and their perspective on that big story that we are tracking very closely. We'll, of course, continue to get our viewers the latest updates on the arrest of Nawab Malik and how that is going to be playing out politi politically in days and weeks to come.